when you meditate, you have to tell yourself, you're the only person in here. You don't have to be concerned about anybody else in the room, anybody else in the monastery, anybody else in the world for the time being. You've got to look after your own mind, because the mind gets scarred very easily, both by events outside and by the eruption of greed, aversion, and delusion inside. So everyone should take some time every day, every day, to heal the wounds. Use the breath to soothe the body, to soothe the mind. And any thoughts that come up that are harmful or hurtful, you remind yourself you don't have to think those. You don't have to believe them. Think of them as someone offering you a ride, and you have the choice not to, not to go along. All too often, though, our thoughts are like cars driving past. Sometimes they, they stop for us to jump in, and sometimes they don't even stop. We just jump in on whatever comes past. And if we lived our lives that way, we'd die. But this is why the way we run our minds, and no wonder the mind is, is, has suffering. No wonder the mind has pain. So just because a thought comes up in the mind doesn't mean it's a thought worth thinking or it's a thought worth claiming. You've got the choice. John Sawat make this point again and again. So we are free to choose our objects of thought. So try to choose something that's uplifting. Gladdening the mind, as the Buddha said, is one of the important qualities of meditation. You find that the mind is losing energy, the mind is down on itself. We'll learn how to think in ways that bring it back up. Either use the breath to soothe things or look at things from the perspective of the Dharma. You can ask yourself, what would what did John Lee say about this? What did John Cha say about this? How would they get around this particular kind of thinking? And that way the mind can get healed. Because it's not just the world outside that's rough on the mind. It's our own desires are really rough on us. So you have to be very careful about them which ones you consort with and which ones you don't. Some desires are good, but a lot of desires are just a force of energy coming through and they have no idea, no concern about the future, no concern about your well-being. So use the breath to soothe the mind and use your discernment to pull it away from any kind of thinking that's going to be harmful. That way the mind is safe and it doesn't get scarred, it doesn't get wounded.